7.30 in the morning, Monday, May 2nd, 2022. And this is one I haven't done in a while. Got frustrated with because of all the uh, catch limits and length limits and everything made it so I was having to throw all my fish back. And I had done a few of these charter boat trips and came away with like a single Ziploc bag worth of fish meat. Um, but it has been a few years guys and so I'm giving it another try uh, this time out of Monty's Marina uh, Mayport yeah I think it's Mayport Florida Monty's Marina the boat is called the Majesty and we are going to be oh, we're loading now This time I'm going to be wearing the GoPro while fishing, so even if I do catch fish that has to be thrown back, at least we will get to see them. Now we're casting off. All the lights actually just go to the event in front of the house. And the first off will be about an hour and 45 minutes. When you're packing your bags to go out on one of these trips, always, you know, you want plenty of sandwiches and stuff like that, but always have a couple of these nice big terry cloth dish towels because, you know, baiting your hook with all the squid and cut bait, you're going to want to wipe your hands off a lot <laughs> to do the reeling, you know. So, yeah, not just one, you know, bring a couple of them. Yeah, we are coming up to our first stop. It is a little bit before 10 o'clock. 10 minutes before 10 o'clock, so. Switching over to the GoPro now. Okay, don't know if I can keep it, but I just pulled this one out. It's got some teeth. Right at 11 o'clock now, we're uh, swinging around and re-anchoring. 
I mean, it was sandwich o'clock, 11 o'clock. Still got a couple more hours to go. Hopefully I'll get that big one. Everybody's building up. Pat went and got himself another snapper. Of course, you can't keep these anymore. Just like mine. Very rare. Very endangered. Yeah. So endangered we keep catching them all day long. What is the story here? The shark got him. So you're reeling it in and a shark bit him. Yeah. Well, okay then. I guess the shark's gonna get the other part too then. So that's all you're using out here today? Uh, artificial and then uh, one day. What does he got? No, actually. 
Snapper. No, first, uh, the first one. All right, who's stuck in that line? You can reel up. Yeah, reel up. Let's go measure it. Reel up. Wow, he just disappeared. Boy, fencing him really helps. Yeah. fish right there I'm heart sick that I have to throw this one back too stupid tree huggers not letting me keep my fish meat this one is 30 oh, 32 30, 30, 32 inches Well, I went with no sunscreen today. It might be paying for it later. I kind of doubt it. We are all just kind of recovering, getting some snacks, and riding back into the dock. That was a day. I'm going to take a look in the cooler here real quick. Oh, that lid is heavy. Oh. Ah, uh, there's that Kobe. Wish I'd got one of those.
And so that brings us to the end of the video once again. Uh, and once again, the stringent game laws have left me with a single Ziploc bag worth of fish at the end of it all. And that's $120 for the trip, plus tip, plus ferry ride. A very expensive one fish. But this time I actually have the uh, pictures and the videos and the memories of catching four gigantic red snappers that I, I couldn't keep. But I did catch them. And that experience, I would say, it was worth every penny. And I will probably do this again. I'm hoping that they will lighten up on these restrictions for the red snappers. Because, come on, there's so many of them. They're not endangered. Come on, really? Um, and I picked up some new uh, tricks on how to fish. And I think next time I do this, I will bring my own fishing pole with brand new, sharper slick clean new brand new hooks i think that makes a difference as well so i'm i'm learning and uh yeah i have high hopes for the future that i can keep doing these charter charter trips and get a little better at it every time uh that is going to be it for this one guys i hope you've enjoyed this if you have make sure to give me a good old thumbs up uh subscribe turn on the notifications when you do and i will talk to you down in the comments guys tell me down in the comments have you done a lot of this offshore fishing? What would you recommend? Uh, and what was your experience out doing it? Did you Were you disappointed or did you have a fantastic time? I want to hear your stories as well. I, I, I would look forward to reading those. And uh, I also look forward to seeing you in the next one.